Well, good morning everybody. Now, just going to have a look. Uh, I'll tell you a few things here. Well, it's already the 20th of July 2020, so uh, saves me typing out long, long stuff on my, my group, for example. But for anyone else that is interested, some um, tra uh, train, <clears throat> train and bus services in New South Wales uh, only operate once a week, in some cases twice a week. And, uh, you know, it needs careful planning for anyone to go on, especially on their um, $2.50 uh, uh, pensioner and, and seniors card travel. But I can give you a trip right now that you might like to consider now that the travel is available in New South Wales. And the, all of the trips I'm giving you are for $2.50 a day. And some are strictly once a week, so you really need to note this down. And then just a day or so before starting out on this little excursion I'm going to give you, phone up uh, Trainlink and just say um, if you live in Sydney for example or if you're going to arrive in Sydney to start doing this trip you say well um, I'm going to make several bookings right now and I'd like to go I'm going out to Bathurst and when I get out to Bathurst at the railway station I'd like to collect those tickets please because you can't get them in Sydney it's very strict to be understood you can't book these trips and then pick up the ticket in Sydney because I've tried it and I got shocked to find that you have to go to somewhere outside of the metropolitan area for example I went to Moss Vale and picked up uh, a ticket to go to Journey and Griffiths and all that sort of thing on the $2.50 ticket so here it is and you can write it down on Sundays only you get a train from uh, Sydney out to Lithgow and a bus connection to Bathurst. Now, it makes common sense to stop part of the way along that, along that just to have lunch. For example, getting a train around, I think it's 10, 18 in the morning. You, you will get, you need to look up your timetables to confirm all this. You will get to somewhere like Katoomba or Blackheath and have an hour for lunch. You'll continue on from there to Lithgow and you do not tag off, by the way, at Lithgow. You go upstairs and you go to the bus. You find the Bathurst bus it takes one hour to go from Lithgow. The driver will pass it on his little reader and you'll continue your journey to Bathurst. That'll cost you $2.50 on your Opal card. You must have an Opal card for this. And I assume, say, for example, a day or so before you've booked, you will then go on uh, uh, Monday morning, Bathurst to Dubbo and connect. And it only runs twice a week, by the way. So on Mondays, across from Bath, sorry, from Dubbo to Tamworth. That's on a Monday. Now, on a Tuesday, there is the train from coming, coming from Sydney, actually, the Northern Tablelands uh, Explorer. You board that in Tamworth, and you continue on to Armadale, and you change to the bus that goes via Tinga to Inverell. That's on a Tuesday. Then on Wednesday... Once again, I've got to emphasize some of these services only run two or three days a week and sometimes only once. You go in Varel to uh, across to Glen Innes and right through. In other words, you continue through to Grafton. You can board the train at Grafton and go to Casino. Now, my advice is you've got two choices. Both of them work out all right. One of them is to stay overnight in casino and get the bus that goes, so we call it round the world, by the way, but it goes out through Byron Bay and that sort of thing and ends up in uh, Tweed Heads. That's one of the options the next morning about 
A second option would be to book right through to uh, Mwollum Bar. Now that actually makes sense too. The hotel is literally across the road from the railway station. And then the next morning, there are buses all day from Mwollum Bar to Tweed Heads at $2.50. And they leave at 25 past the hour. 7.25 in the morning right through to the evening. So it's the first thing in the morning, 7.25, there is a bus stop around the corner from the hotel as you as if you're heading into town you'll find there's a bus stop right there it's a three three minute walk quite literally it does wander around a little bit it takes about an hour to get to tweed heads and from tweed heads you get a frequent bus service to go to varsity lakes i assume you've got a, a a go card or if you haven't i guess you could buy a single ticket if you're in from interstate they go to uh, Varsity Lakes in a train to Brisbane, by the way. Now, that's an interesting little excursion to do. And by the way, on the same subject, uh, you know, or well, let me inform you, at least if you don't know, uh, there are two zones for these tickets. There's the Sydney zone, which goes out as far as Goulburn and Bathurst, and you go to Nowra, and it also up north it goes to uh, Scone, and it goes to Dungog. And then there's Country Zone, which, except for Dungog to Gloucester, because there's no ticket available in that sector. And it's deliberate so that they, you won't book huge long-distance trips uh, and, and get... It's just too silly, you know, that's what, in their view, uh, to get the value out of that. But you can get terrific value on just what I've described. And a person could be in Victoria, for example, and they could go to Albury and book ahead and for two dollars fifty you could therefore if you look at it this way you could go from Cootamundra to Dubbo depending on the days or to Bathurst via Cowra must be therefore as I said on a Sunday so please note that Albury across to Bathurst or Dubbo on a Sunday and then of course Monday you carry on in the direction I just discussed and so a person could travel it's a ridiculously cheap fare they could go two dollars fifty Albury to Bathurst or Dubbo and two dollars fifty to as I said through to uh, Tamworth and then of course as I, as I mentioned to you Tamworth across to Inverell and then of course you know for the whole thing could be done, with, 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 you know, $20 would fix everything up, in other words. So I just thought I'd pass some of those little ideas along, as people might find them of some interest, and uh, certainly members of my group on Facebook, which is growing all the time, and it's got 3,500 members. If you don't belong to it, if you type in Seniors Card Travel at Facebook, and I assume not most people belong to Facebook, you can join that. And I'll just tick, in other words, send you, uh, you know, apply for membership, put you on straight away. The only rule I would offer is you must stay on topic. And that is to say, travel, all kinds of travel. It's not just the seniors card. It's every, all trains, planes, buses, ferries, you name it. And it is all over Australia and indeed is overseas. In, uh, and the tours and accommodation are included. So I hope I've been of some help to you and thanks for viewing.